If you've been on the internet lately, you've probably come across the concept of the fourth turning. This is a crisis, an era of destruction that can involve war, revolution, or social collapse. It comes from a 1997 book by William Strauss and Neil Howe, who think we are in one right now. Strauss and Howe build a model of history, their generational theory, running on cycles lasting around 80 years. Each cycle is made of four stages or turnings, which last around 20 years each. These are renewal, stabilization, decline, and crisis. They believe the current cycle started in 1946, the end of World War II, meaning as of 2006, we are overdue for a civilization-threatening crisis. The concept that civilization runs in cycles is actually very old. In 146 BC, Polybius laid out the rough contours in what he called the political cycle, or Kiklos. Now, you already know Polybius' cycle. It's famous as the hard times create strong men meme. And for Polybius too, the cycle had four stages, beginning in renewal, then prosperity, then decline, and then crisis. The inflection point for Polybius is that the prosperity contains the seeds of its own destruction, as a new generation forgets the hard times and becomes complacent. They fail to defend key institutions, which then deteriorate. Social trust declines, public order declines, and the hard times come once again. The wrinkle is that for Polybius, the cycles are not predictable 20 years. They can last a few years. They can last a century. In fact, history agrees. Hard times in 1940s Japan were a few years long. In Ming China, it was centuries. Somalia has been in a warlord holding pattern for most of my life. More important for us, the good times can also be very short or very long. The British Empire held up for centuries. Actually, it improved going into the Victorian era. Even in America's brief 250 years, we've pulled back many times. So Andrew Jackson's gelding of the central bank and the predatory civil service, he essentially fired. He fired enough of them that the rest of them got scared and stopped predating upon the people. Uh, the post-Civil War golden age, even Reagan's morning in America is a reaction to the dystopian 1970s. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained. Concretely, there are two ways to prepare. Resilience and prevention. Resilience means fortifying yourself in case hard times do come. Insulating your assets, building your skills, your earning potential, and your practical abilities. Building your social network that you can count on thick and thin. Even a flock of chickens, if that's your thing. Once that is covered, the rest is prevention. Political and social organization to renew failing institutions so they can stand on their own feet. The courts, the schools, military, social institutions, secular and religious, can all slow or even reverse the decline, or if left untended, they can accelerate the decline instead. Think of it like maintaining a dike against a raging sea. Yes, it is endless work, but the consequences are catastrophic. In sum, the cycle is real, we're in a dangerous spot, but it is under our control. If it weren't under our control, we would just sit back and pray we survive. Instead, we have the power, even the responsibility, to do everything we can to slow and then reverse the fall. Read the full article with a lot more history at prof.sanange.com. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.